Buongiorno ragazzi. So you have probably noticed that the format of this second virtual class has changed. I decided to try and do something with PowerPoint so that um, the lesson is clearer. Uh, if you want to give me some feedback about what format you prefer, please send me an email. But for now we're going to try this one. So the topic of our second class is very, very simple. It's Che Ci Sono. Notice the pronunciation of these two expressions. Che Ci Sono, right? Remember the sound of the C with E and with I, which is soft, right? Che Ci Sono. And the meaning of these two expressions is super simple. It's like the English there is and there are. So these are used to say in Italian what there is in a room or in a space or what the things that there are in there, right? So let's see how this works. In English, as you guys know, there are two expressions that we use to say that things are located in a certain place or space. There we have there is and there are. For example, we can say that there is a professor in the classroom, right? And we can also say that there are 10 students in the classroom, right? There is a professor, there are 10 students. Now, think a little bit about why I said there is, when I was talking about a professor, one professor, and there are, when I was talking about the 10 students, well, basically it's because the number of things changed, right? When the number of things we're talking about is singular, we use there is. There is a door in the classroom. There is a dog in the field. There is a person outside. Right? And when the number of things is more than one, when it's plural, we say there are. There are four windows in the classroom. There are ten students in the classroom. There are many rooms in the college. Okay? The cool thing about the Italian version of this is that it works exactly in the same manner as English. Che means basically there is. So we use it for referring to one thing. When there is one thing, you use che. And ci sono means there are. So we use it when there are more than one thing. Right? It's very, very simple. For example, two examples in Italian. C'è un professore nell'aula. Right? What does this mean? Well, un professore, as you guys know, means a professor. Aula means classroom, a nel means in the, so a professor in the classroom, right? And che means there is, there is a professor in the classroom. We used che because there is one professor. Let's look at another example. Ci sono quattro finestre nell'aula, right? Remember that finestra means window, right? And quattro means four. So, four windows in the classroom. It's no longer one thing, right? It's more than one thing. It's four windows. So, we say, ci sono. Ci sono quattro finestre nell'aula. So, I already said that this works exactly like it does in English. But I want to look at this in a little bit more detail so that you can see that it is actually exactly the same way, okay? Because I think this will help you learn it. So, ci in Italian means there, right? And then we already know what e and sono mean. They come from essere. Remember that verb essere that we did a lot? 
Io sono, tu sei, lui è, noi siamo, voi siete, loro sono. So, e comes from that verb, and we know that it means is, right? It's the form for lui and lei. And then sono is from loro, and it means are, right? They are. So, ci è means basically there is. Ci sono means there are. And the thing with ci è is only that we stick those two words together, right? Because Italians like to speak quickly. So they say ce instead of ci è. But it's exactly the same thing. Ce is there is. Ci sono means there are. So, as you can see, this is very, very simple. Again, what's the difference between CE and CI SONO? CE means there is, so you use it when there is one thing. CI SONO means there are, so you use it when there are several things. Okay? Let's look at some examples in Italian and see how this works. For example, Un pinarello sul tavolo. Tavolo vuol dire table. Ok? Un pennarello sul tavolo. Cosa pensate ragazzi? C'è o ci sono? Un pennarello. One marker. Right? It's one thing. So it's c'è, c'è un pennarello sul tavolo. There is one marker on the table. Tre professori nell'aula. Hmm. C'è? O ci sono? Cosa ne pensate? Sono tre professori. Plurale, vero? Dunque, ci sono. Three professors. So it, there are three professors in the classroom. Due penne nello zaino. C'è o ci sono? Ci sono, right? Due penne nello zaino, two pens in the backpack. So, there are two pens in the backpack. Ci sono. Un quaderno sulla scrivania. Remember, scrivania means desk. So, one notebook on the desk. You already know the answer to this. C'è, right? C'è un quaderno sulla scrivania. Un orzo nello zoo. A bear in the zoo. It's only one bear. C'è. Un orzo nello zoo. Tre cani a casa mia. Three dogs at my house. This is not my case, actually. I have no dogs. Which kind of pains because I love them, but you know. I have a small apartment and I live in New York City. It's only an example. But tre cani a casa mia. What do you think? C'è o ci sono? But tre cani, it's more than one dog, right? It's actually three. So it's ci sono. Hmm? Ci sono tre cani a casa mia. There are three dogs in my house. Sette studenti nell'aula. You already know the answer to this one as well, right? Ci sono. Seven students. It's plural, so ci sono. And again, ci sono means there are. So ci sono sette studenti nell'aula means there are seven students in the classroom. A couple more examples. Due libri sullo scaffale. Uno scaffale vuol dire a shelf. Right? So, two books on the shelf. Books, so ci sono, right? Ci sono due libri sullo scaffale. And then, c'è o ci sono una finestra nella stanza? Una finestra. It's only one, right? So, c'è una finestra nella stanza. And one last example. Let's look at this one more carefully. Molti studenti a postos. Now, molti means many. Right? But even if you didn't know that, if you look at studenti, you will notice that it's plural. Right? Because the singular, the word that means one student, is studente, ending in an e. Right? And if you follow the rule we studied for the plurals, right, you will notice that this i at the end of studenti means students. It's a plural. So, it's ci sono, right? Ci sono molti studenti a hostos. There are many students at hostos.
So I hope you agree with me that this topic today is very simple. Che means there is. Chizono means there are. I am going to leave you one little activity for you to complete at home. It looks like this. I'm going to send you exactly this same image. Right? This is an aula, it's a classroom, and as you can see there's a lot of things in here. There's a plant, there's books, tables, chairs, uh, a blackboard, a clock, what have you, right? What I want you to do using the expressions che, chizono, and using the vocabulary of the classroom that we studied, and also the vocabulary that I'm giving you in this same image, right? Notice that I'm telling you how to say fish, how to say fish tank, how to say walls, and a lot of other things, right? Using that, please write eight sentences in Italian using CE and CISON. Notice that I'm giving you an example. Please don't use the example in your home. Come up with something else, but I hope the example will help you. C'è una lavagna nell'aula. You can see the lavagna right there, right? Lavagna means blackboard or whiteboard, right? So we have a cute little blackboard on the left, right? And we have only one. So there is one blackboard in the classroom. C'è una lavagna nell'aula. Again, please use this. Um, image that I'm going to send you and the vocab you know and the vocab that appears here to write eight sentences using CE and CI SONO. Grazie ragazzi and I hope you are not um, finding the quarantine too hard and that you are enjoying your virtual classes. As always I am available via email and also via WhatsApp, but remember, only for academic matters, right? And uh, some people have asked me in my email, which I find curious because it's on the syllabus, it's also on Blackboard, but basically it's hballesteros at hostos.qme.edu. Okay? Ciao ragazzi, ci vediamo domani.